Hey hobbyists, Neil here with Real Terrain Hobbies. And if you are new to the channel, we focus on creating highly detailed and realistic model scenery, whether that be for tabletop gamers, model railroaders, diorama enthusiasts, and anyone who shares a passion for scale modeling. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made the stone texturing for the modeling of my castle, buildings, and wizard tower using this roller that I made completely from scratch uh, to create a very highly detailed texture that uh, you don't actually get from the shops. So I know most of you are waiting for the final video in the Wizard Tower series. Uh, that is just about complete and I just need to do the video editing for that. But if you want, you can head over to Patreon and I've already got two videos up on that specifically if you wanna get a behind the scenes look of where I'm at. Uh, exactly how I've been uh, doing what I've been doing and even some shots of the upcoming video uh, Head over to my patreon and you can support me there and not only will it be just supporting me But it's supporting the channel. So in the meantime I figured I need to start filling in the gaps between uh, the video videos of these major projects um, And I thought I'd post some of my techniques that I'll be using uh, in those builds, uh, which you'll see in those final videos of the larger scale feature projects that I've been working on. Uh, so today, I'm going to show you how to make a detailed, highly realistic stone texture roller. Uh, and this is what I've used uh, to create my wizard tower build. And so we're going to be going through the steps that uh, you need uh, to do that. And these are things, I'm telling you, they're better than what you can get out in the marketplace. So highly detailed so let's go ahead and jump right on in so you may be asking yourself what on earth is a texture roller for well this is to be used in conjunction with uh, some clay and in this case I'm going to be using uh, DAS air dry clay uh, so it's very simple to use very easy and it creates a quick and very fast and effective technique and by effective I mean really detailed, really nice, really realistic. Uh, you'll see again the process coming up right away how exactly I went into creating that detail in this guy. The first thing we're gonna do is roll out some DAS really quick here. I'm gonna show you just how quick and easy this is and uh, the results that you can expect to get from this. So once you've gotten that rolled out and I just use a simple rolling pin for that, you can actually get rollers that are um, meant for clay from a local hobby shop or a craft store. Michael's usually has things like that. Uh, but uh, anyway, so now that that is rolled out, it's gone down to about an eighth of an inch thick or for you all you metric users, I would say uh, maybe three millimeters. And uh, yeah, take your roller set it on there first before i do that i'm just going to take a razor blade and cut or not cut but uh, go underneath the surface of this clay to stop it from sticking to my cutting mat and that'll just help the uh, roller to move along and for the we are actually going to be pushing the clay forward a little bit as we do this so take your roller put some firm pressure down i'm doing it quite firm but not crazy firm not just putting all my weight onto it or anything but still fairly firm and rolling it up and you can make this as long as you need to make it so there we go that's how far i'm going to go with this i'm going to take my knife and just make a nice straight edge along the bottom so we can get a good look at this and trim off the excess here there and along the top there and here we have it so let's get our knife again get underneath and here we are this is our rock texture right here which turned out quite nice let's see if we can get that in focus properly so there you have it very nice rock texture uh, as you can see, this is kind of how thick I made it right there. Uh, again, about an eighth of an inch, three millimeters. And then all you do is get to your cardboard or, or balsa wood building of various sizes. And I'm gonna have some round buildings on mine, just like so. And I just glued that on to the cardboard. There we go. 
So there you have it. It's as simple as that for using your roller and getting some awesome textures out of it. So now we're gonna get on to the video of how exactly I made this guy. And if you like these videos, click the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel if you wanna see more of this content uh, of what you're about to see. And uh, again, head over to Patreon if you guys wanna support me and what I'm doing and it's gonna go a long way into getting rid of this squeaky desk. Oh, it's not gonna squeak now I'm sitting here. But anyway, it's, oh, there it is. Yeah, anyway, so it's gonna get rid of the squeaky desk. Uh, I've already got one on the way. Uh, it's helping me with that, with uh, a new camera I need, many, many things. So like I said, there's some good videos and there's one gonna, gonna be posted just uh, right away here in a few days, video number three on the wizard tower. It's painted up, it looks incredible. And if you wanna see that, head over to Patreon, sign up for either the bi-weekly or weekly videos and you'll get to see more on that and again it's going to be going a long way into supporting me and the channel and everything that i make over there just goes right back in to this channel to help me get content content out that much quicker and faster to you guys so anyway without any more delay let's go and check out how exactly we made this guy Thank you. 